We are going to take you around the next 24 hours exploring this beautiful island of Koh Lanta. Join us as we explore some of the best beaches in Thailand, swim in crystal clear water, eat delicious food and show you everything this laid back island has to offer. Oh, and we accidentally enter a war zone on the beach. <laughs> that was absolutely carnage. Make sure to subscribe to keep up with our adventures. Kelanta is home to some of the best beaches that we've ever seen. So what better way to start our 24 hours than at the beach? And today it seems like we've got lucky as this is the clearest water I've ever seen in my entire life. This is Nui Bay and just look at this. The crystal clear water, the green surroundings and the beautiful white sand. It just doesn't get much better than this. Hands down, the clearest water I've ever been in. Unbelievable. It doesn't look real. It is like glassing over and is as warm as bath water. We were literally just sat in the shallows then because the water was so warm. It was, you were like sat in a bath. Oh, you, oh, it, that was unbelievable. This is one of, hands down, one of my yeah. favorite places to come. And every time we've come here, it's the same vibe. There's, not that many people here, no one's on top of each other, Yeah. everyone's just chilling. The sun's at its highest point now and we are absolutely cooking. When I was flying the drone then I was having to do it with the towel over my head because I couldn't see a thing and I could literally feel the sun pelting down on me. Yeah, we've dried pretty quickly so I think it's safe to say that we can move spots now and head on the bike. Yeah, we should move before we turn into lobsters. You could literally spend all day here as well at Nui Bay and I think that's one of the other reasons why we really like it. You can get a massage and you can also grab some food, grab a cold beer if you want. There's a little restaurant bar and this morning we caught the ladies bringing down some of the stock so Mitch was kind and helped them down with some of the big items that they were trying to haul down as it's quite steep to get down. So yeah, you can literally spend all day just grabbing food, beer, massage, sun, sea. What more could you want? <laughs> can you tell where the monkeys have been? Cheers! We're now in Koh Lanta's old town and we have come to one of the many restaurants situated on the seafront where they have propped themselves up on stilts. So we're basically sitting in the water eating our lunch today, which is pretty cool. So we've just popped into the one of the ones that we saw when we first walked in. We haven't explored any of old town just yet, but we thought it'd be fun to come get some food first and fill our bellies before we go explore. This is a really nice restaurant. They've got like this boardwalk that goes out to the end of the sea. They've even got cute little swings. Martha had a little go on it. <laughs> very Instagrammable. Yeah, very Instagrammable. But yeah, all the islands in the background, it looks stunning. Really, really nice. Most old towns aren't really like this. It's uh, very coastal and very beautiful. Is that celery? I don't know. I hope not. Good. Beautiful. Well that food was really nice. I went for like a yellow noodle soup thing. It was a bit weird, but it was really nice. Mum was 90 baht. Did you notice the rooster right there? Ah! Where is it? <laughs> it's huge. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well anyway, Martha had a fried rice with like fruit and seafood, which is a strange combination, but you really enjoyed it, didn't you? Yeah, it was really and Martha's was 150 baht which you cannot complain for, especially with a place with that view. Ready to explore Old Town Duck? Yeah, let's go have a look. Kolanta's Old Town really is a charming place to come. It looks as though it has stood still in time. This was once a sea gypsy settlement and over time it has transformed into a village influenced by trade, whereas in present day the economy is mainly funded by tourism. What do you think to money look? <laughs> Sarongs are so versatile. Even when you forgot to put sun cream on and your chest and your shoulders are now burnt because we've been out all day. So this is this is my new look. <laughs> I can't use my hand. I feel like I'm walking around with my nan. <laughs> <laughs> it's cute. Hello, Rob. As you can see, the main way we get around Koh Lanta is by scooter. 
This is how most people on the island get about and it costs about 250 baht a day to hire a bike. The roads aren't in the best condition which makes for some interesting riding. We're now back at our humble abode where we've been staying for the past six nights because I need to change my outfit so I don't burn anymore. We have been staying at a place called Sonia's Bungalows. There are many places where you can stay on the island, many luxury resorts, beachside resorts, little bungalows on the beach and this is probably a nice in-between. We're close to the beach and we've got our own, our own little bungalow which is the perfect little size for us with aircon and it's just been the perfect little stay for us with breakfast included very nice highly recommend and now i think i need to sort this chest out i should have worn some cream we are now on a mission i am on a mission to go get some drinks and mitch is on a mission to go get a pizza i don't think we've actually mentioned today but it is actually new year's eve so happy new year everyone hope you had a lovely new year although this will be out quite some time after new year but anyway the sun is starting to set behind us i've just left the bungalow mitch has gone on the bike so i'm i'm in charge of drink he's in charge of pizza so that's why i'm gonna head now and then the plan is to meet at the beach without actually corresponding with one another it's just uh meet you at the beach hopefully we'll both be in the same space because i've not got any signal on my phone I've got the goods. Now let's go to the beach. I'm just walking past our bungalows now and it looks like Mitch isn't back yet. So I'm still gonna be the first one there. Now I'm just on edge, like, where are you Mitch? So now I'm really hoping we haven't missed sunset. And if it's even a good one. I mean, it's the last one of 2022. Whatever it is, it's one to remember. I've made it and I haven't missed it. We're st we've still got some time, so hopefully Mitch isn't too far away. I think we got the baby portion. You made it, what? <laughs> <laughs> It'll fill us up for about half an hour. It was more the idea of just being able to come down and just have this. We only ate a couple of hours ago, so I thought this would be a nice little snack whilst I'm having the watching the sunset. One thing that has stood out to us since being in Koh Lanta is how every night you're greeted with a beautiful sunset in whatever form that might be but most of the time it has been a gorgeous orange golden sunset that has just surprised us over the horizon and just makes an absolute epic show and it's always so nice to see everyone out watching the sunset taking photos and just sitting there watching it. But this one in particular, 2022 has been a big year for us. A year that we made our dreams become a reality. And now we're here doing what we love in a place that we love. It's feeling even more special. Well, we're on the way back from 7-Eleven Earlier on when Martha went to pick up the drinks, she paid with a 500 baht note and she went to give me the change earlier and she only had 40 baht, which means them drinks will have cost her like 11 pounds. <laughs> so, look In my defence, I didn't know it was a 500 baht. We kind of just exchanged really quickly. Yeah, so oh. luckily there's a clip where Martha's paying for it that shows that she paid with a 500 baht and we've just showed that into the ladies in there. Yeah. And they we're all apologetic, so. It is lucky that you recorded that, so that's just saved us 11 quid. Could I have the garlic and pepper chicken, please? Uh, can I get the chicken cashew nuts, please? And rice? Rice, please, yes. Okay. We've been here every day since we've been on the island, and sometimes we've been twice a day, because it's just so good such good value for money and you know we love a bargain and the food's great so we've just come back here a lot but all of this together now cost 240 baht so you can see the reason why we keep coming back good morning guys it's a little bit of a later start to this morning 
I would like to say that's because we were out partying, drinking, having a crazy new year. But it was actually because we were lying in bed, drinking chocolate milk, watching a film instead. <laughs> that was until we decided to head to the beach just before midnight so we could hear some fireworks going off. So we ran down to try and see if we could grab some. And let's just say we did. Come on, we're gonna miss it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that was literally the best fireworks show I've ever seen. Oh my god, it's still going! It's like a war zone. So now because of that, we haven't got that long until we check out today. So we've got to quickly pack up everything into the backpack, check out, and then we've been eyeing up a cafe that we want to go check out before we leave the island. Back to being a cart horse for the day. <laughs> that was a really hard decision. There was a lot of yummy cakes and muffins up there to choose from. But we've come to Aunt May's bakery and coffee house as we saw some of the photos online and yeah, they look as good in person as they did online. And I saw on the menu up there that they had English breakfast tea. And you guys know we haven't had a cup of tea since we ran out. So I'm, I've got high hopes for this. It looks like a posh English breakfast tea. So we're starting 2023 with a cup of tea. I thought I'd just mention because before we came to Koh Lanta I'd seen a lot of videos and like articles about how Koh Lanta sort of lost its way because of Covid and there's no people about all the places are run down but for us it's been the complete opposite. I think they've got back round from the pandemic now, all the tourists have come back through, places like this uh, open back up. So if that was to ever put you off coming to Koh Lanta, don't let that phase you now because I can, I can say for Koh that it's back up and running and it is still a beautiful place to come. Ready? As our time in Koh Lanta comes to an end, I was really sad to be leaving if I'm honest. The laid back vibe of Koh Lanta is exactly what we were looking for and the reason we were drawn to the island in the first place. I think this island will hold a special place in our hearts for years to come. It was where we spent our second Christmas abroad and the place where we welcomed in 2023 with quite literally a bang. And one of the best decisions we made during this trip was hiring our scooter back in Krabi. The adventure here was one to remember and the drive back even reaffirmed that it was the right decision. We ended up skipping a ginormous queue up to the ferry port and got on a ferry just as it was leaving. Kelanta is a place we will recommend for years to come so please make sure to add it to your Thailand bucket list. A short and bittersweet 10 minutes later we were back on the mainland and we were ready to head to our new adventure. We'll see you in the next video.